And we are we are live. We are live. Was any I can't I cannot see you. Uh, it's very dark where you are. Was any it's very dark where you are. So um, a bit of technical issues and technical hitches with our first show. One of the big for me. <laughs> Uh, personally, I just um, there's been seems to be, be an issue with electricity where I am. So, uh, and it's very funny where, where I stay. Like there's electricity across at the other houses, but just selected houses in on my street, there's no electricity, and and my yard is one of them. So, um, so that's the thing. So then uh, Lamek also seems to be struggling with some network challenges, and. Yeah, but Bozan is there. Aaron is expected to come on, as well as Evans, Evans Otieno, and some other people will join. Yeah, some other people will, will join. So Aaron is um, Aaron is joining us, I believe. Let me just okay. Okay, so. Uh, let's get into it. The big transfer already. There's um, Nelson. Unfortunately for me, there's no electricity at home. I don't know. It's it's uh, it's something beyond my control. I just found there's no electricity, but there's electricity across the street uh, from my place. It's just selected houses on my street where there's no electricity, and uh, my yard being one of them. So unfortunately. Uh, it's a blackout where I am, unfortunately. It's very, this has been a problem since, since I think, yesterday in the evening. And I thought it would be sorted, but it doesn't seem to have been. With that said, let's get into it. The first bit of, of, of transfer news, um, there's one transfer news which has come in. A late, late deal which has just been done. It was done 30 minutes ago. This is Richard Ngoma, highly talented youngster, a lot of people may not have heard about him, but if you follow young Zambian players, particularly those who play in under-15s for the Zambian national team, under-17s, you may have heard of his name. His name is Richard Ngoma, and he plays for, for Atletico Lusaka. So he has joined Joseph Sichon, the candle. <laughs> It'll still be dark. Uh, so um, he has joined... Um, he has joined in Kana Football Club. It has been confirmed, and Atletico Lusaka confirmed it about 20 minutes ago. There are still a couple of deals remaining to go. There are still a couple of deals remaining to go, but that is um, that's one of the biggest deals so far which has been done. Uh, there is still one deal, and it's going to be maybe confirmed within the next uh maybe 35 40 minutes or so so Bozan is gone off as well hopefully he'll come out it's understandable these challenges are there this is the first time we are we are doing this um this type of thing and um you know it's a little bit late people are arriving home uh, their phones a little bit flat uh, manga your phone has 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 no flash it has but i don't know if it, if it will Illuminate um, if it will illuminate me. If it if it will illuminate me 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 enough enough. And yeah yeah. So, Bazan will be back. He's um, McBollan. So, the Saboba Banda. We're going to talk more about him uh, later on. Later on. Um, Henry, are you going to tell us the the player the player's weight bills? That's a difficult one, but I think where it possible, we'll be able to tell. So I think everyone has gone off. Um, I'm sure they will be back. There's Aaron who's come on, so it's just technical issues. Remember that we're doing this for the first time, so it's something which we are testing, and over time we will get better at this, as we usually do. Ah, Aaron at Bwanji. <laughs> best, best at Bwanji. Uriche? Uriche. So, a late deal happening. 
Richard Ngoma moving from Atletico Lusaka to um, Tunkana Football Club. Tell us about this boy. Um, brilliant lad, um, one of those in the youth ranks of Zambian football. And um, actually, you remember the conversation we had? I even talked about him. And I wasn't too sure if he was the one moving because um, in the past uh, we've had um, uh, rumors of Savobo um, getting interest because um, maybe they want him to get Super League experience and um, a number of other young lads from Athletic Kurosaka. They've got quite a very youthy squad with very talented players who make up the majority of the under-15, under-17 and uh, Zambia under-20 national teams. So... Richard gets his move to, to Nkana. Uh, great um, jump for him. Uh, he will need to be very strong uh, uh, to play for one of the most successive teams in Zambian football, if not the most successful. Obviously, might have as well. We have a thing to say about that. But um, he has got a lot of potential. But that's um, one thing. And, and, and proving um, yourself in the Super League is another. This is the biggest league in Zambia, and you have to work extra hard. But in terms of potential wise, very good player. You uh, is more like of um, not necessarily the same uh, the same kind of player with Patrick Gondwe, but he's similar to Patrick Gondwe in terms of creativity. Uh, he's got that pace. He's, he's, he's a brilliant lad, and also coming from the youth ranks of the Zambia national team in terms of the under fifteen, under seventeen, under twenties. That's where he's coming from. So he's, he's a player that if um, everything um, is equal, could give him kind of some uh, good options in terms of the middle of the park and on the wing. Okay. So 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 that's uh, Richard Ngoma. It's confirmed. It's a late deal which has been done. Um, it was just sealed about 30 minutes ago. Uh, Atletico Lusaka confirmed that they had been in negotiations with Nkana. They, fa- they thanked the Nkana CEO, Kelvin Muta, for that, uh, for securing the deal. Um, and obviously, he moves to Nkana. And at least Nkana have got a little bit of depth. They've got a little bit of a talented young youngster entering into the last part of the season. It was a deal in which Nkana were looking to push because we saw Nkana try to get Colin to come, and that didn't seem to work out. Now, Bozani, before we enter into uh, basically transfer news, we want to, st- to start with morning transfers which have been done and work our way up. But before that, Bozani, this is the first time we're going live to talk about transfers uh, before. Usually, when did this all start, this thing of blogging about Zambian football? Do you recall? Let's just take a flashback so that everyone knows where we're coming from, particularly social media transfers, concrete data, as we call it. Well, I, I, basically, I think it was in 2013, and um, th- that was when we decided. Uh, first of all, I, I think for me, I was writing about uh, English uh, football, more especially Arsenal. And I remember Aaron <laughs> still takes me to to talk about Arsenal sometimes. Yeah, but then I realized there was this gap. Uh, it was very difficult uh, by then to actually find the news about Zambian football. Okay, so you do, you'd seriously struggle. Look for newspaper cuttings. Th- that is as, as far as, as 2013. You understand? Then, because I used to go on radio, I found it very difficult. So I just dedicated myself to say, okay, let me try to get as much information as possible. You, 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 it was difficult, but I think... Slowly, we started managing. So for me, um, I would actually say 2013, 2014. I remember one of the, the, the discussions that we had with you was the competition on the, on the, on the what? Uh, those were predictions. Yeah, and the, from the predictions, I think we got into just talking about Konkiri data seriously in 2016. 2015, 2016. I remember when, he, when, when Zanako was very good uh, that time around, we had seriously got into a, a, a high gear. But talking about the way concrete data was actually developed in 20, 2015. Okay. Uh, so, so, so a quick one. Which one was, which, and, and both you, Bezan, first answer it, and then next, Aaron. 
which was the first concrete data you you got right whereby you got it and then people are just like mm, okay this guy has information about the transfer market well i had started some time back um of course to to to, to gain the trust of people it was difficult but i think one memorable one which i i, I don't forget is the rodrick kawe <laughs> <laughs> I knew Aaron was going to, I knew Aaron was going to remember. Uh, you, you know Zanaco had just won the league in in, uh, in 2016 and everyone was hoping that the team would actually go into CAF with the same cream of players. Okay? But then I had gotten news from South Africa that uh, the guy had actually signed that the, a, a copy of a contract was actually sent to me. So I knew exactly what I was talking about. And Rodrigo attacked me openly uh, on Facebook page. On Facebook, and, yes. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and look, everyone believed Rodrick because he was the owner of the contract. And uh, if he was refusing, then it was very difficult for people to believe me. Um, five days later, he was unveiled in South Africa. And what I like about Roderick is that after f- three, four years, he wrote again and says, uh, we want data. We want data. So for me, that one, that one transfer, I, I think is the one that made people start believing to say they can actually believe in Boisan. And, and you, Aaron, which was, which was the transfer people be- believed in you? I think uh, it's uh, similar around 2016-2017 when Austin um, Austin Banda was moving from Might and Freunders to Napsa Stars um, because um, I was in contact with his people and knew every step of the way how the move was moving. And then when he had signed, I broke the news that he had signed. And then people at the Might and Freunders camp started attacking me. No, there's nothing you know. He's, he's still our player. What and what? <laughs> And it was just like two, three days later, announced NASA Stars player. And I was just there, sitting, smiling. I'm like, eh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, that, oh. that, that was exciting because actually you got to prove that you were right all along and people just needed a little faith. And I remember another similar one was, um, but I think two, three years later, I think it was in 20, but this one is just recently. Uh, 2018, when Kiala Lassa was uh, moving from Kito United to Zanako, because Zanako, initially it was supposed yeah. to go to Zesco, and everything was almost done, and Zesco fans already knew that uh, Kiara, we thought it was a done deal. And then I got news that Kiara was at Zanako and had signed. So I broke the news that Kiara had signed at Zanako. Yeah, yeah, the Zesco people came. This one, <laughs> this one is a lie. We know the news that Zesco... He signed that just for three days ago. What, 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 what? And and that one was like just like five hours later, Zanako confirmed Kiala Lassa, Zanako player. And then I got that news and just put it there. And everyone was, ah, okay, okay. I'm like, these things, we have these contracts. Like Bozan is saying, <laughs> they'll send you a contract. Sometimes even the player themselves will say, go through, is this okay, big man? Shan, shan. And you already know what's going on. And then people want to come and attack you, not knowing that you've already seen everything that's going on. Okay, all right. So that's that's some interesting. Lamek, I don't know. Lamek seems to be off. So at um, just around uh, 11, um, 23, uh, 35, we'll also uh, share the link so that other people can... Can 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 enter and debate. Um, we'll share the link in on 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 the on the Facebook page. With that said, moving transfer. So the transfers is a story. There's already one which is done, Richard Ngoma. But there was a big one which was unveiled l- late yesterday and was known early today. This was the move. It's not a Zambian move, but it's the most amount of money involving Zambia, a Zambian player, Edward Chirufia left. Uh, finally left his Swedish club, Jay Gardens. He's joined Midland of Norway. The deal is worth 48 million um, US dollars, uh, 48 million quarter, according to Transfer Market, which is 2.4 million uh, euros. Um, what do you think about this this move? Is it the best move for Edwards to move from Sweden to go and play his football in Denmark? I think um, it's quite a good move, uh, given that um, initially 
there was interest from Blendford, and uh, there is a link between um, his new team and Brentford. Um, the owner of both uh, the the owner of uh, Brentford has also owns uh, I think majority shares in in his new team. So there could be that link for him to go to England because everyone wants our players to go to England after seeing what Patson and Enoch are doing in the English Premier League and of course uh, uh, just the entire UK and fashion with Rangers. So for me, it's a good move because. Um, uh, Midland, uh, mid, however it's pronounced, I don't want to say wrong thing. Um, <laughs> plays in the yeah, you know, there's a lot of T's and Y's and whatever. In the name. Mm. So just call it Midland, something like that. Um, they um, they play a lot in the Champions League, the Europa League. So it, it's 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 good exposure for him to be playing in those top two competitions in Europe. Uh, they are now. I think this season they're in the UEFA Conference League. They came from the Champions League to the Europa League, and now they've dropped to the Conference League. Uh, so there's a possibility they could meet Leicester with Pats on Daga because they were, uh, Leicester also dropped to the Conference League. Uh, so it's, it's it's good exposure for him. And initially, he was uh, he was the highly, he was the most highly rated player for Jugardens. He was initially valued at I think five million euros, but since his contract was ending. They had to slice it off uh, because they knew that uh, in a year, in six months actually, he, he could have signed the pre-contract and gone for free because he only remained with uh, his, his his contract is ending in December. He was supposed to end in December this year, so they they thought about it and decided, oh well, let him go. And uh, of course, uh, a new experience for him. And and for me, the big thing is that uh, it's going mm-hmm. to open doors for more Zambian players, if he does what the club, uh, which means uh, that club will look to Zambian talent. The same way he did at Jugardens. Jugardens will be looking to, to Zambian talent. Um, talk of what Patson and Dinok did at Sosbeg. So Sosbeg, we have an open route that side for our players to be going there. So I, 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 I'm putting everything on this deal for him to succeed so that um, we open another door. We need as, ma- as many of our players to go to Europe and uh, compete against the best so that we see whether it's true we are a big football nation or we are just um, full of ourselves. Like Sivan once told us that we are not a footballing nation. Chris Nod also wanted him at the beginning of the season. Yes, true, Doc. Uh, he, had, uh, he had quite a number of um, interested parties. He, he's been doing well. And, and, and coincidentally, and... Um, Unfortunately, he was doing well for club, but there was a bit of uh, lacking when it came to to the national team. I think yeah, he, he, he took long to he settle. Wasn't performing. Mm. Yeah, it took. He wasn't it, 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 it's, it's taken him time to settle. But I think uh, we can give him more time. Look at fashion. Fashion struggled from 2017 when he was making his debut with Enoch. He struggled, but now uh, he was scoring an hat trick just recently, and he's been doing fantastic for the national team. In the last uh, last year, he did very fantastic for the national team. So hopefully, also Edward gets his fitting in there because whatever experience they get from outside there, which it should be able to help Zambia and benefit the national team at large. That's the the larger picture, so that we can go back to the Afcon and possibly qualify for the first time to the World Cup. Okay, so so, so that, that's about about. But then there are some players who there's that. There's that Atletico Lusaka boy, the King. Is it Kingsley Mutanda? It was announced yeah, just Kings. today. Is it Kingsley? Yeah, a uh, Kings. Kings, Kings. Yes, it was announced. Yeah. He top scorer when uh, he left. He went to uh, Israel to play at yeah. uh, Maccabi uh, Pet Petka. Peta, uh, uh, Maccabi Petatikva. Yeah, Peter Tikva, and um, he was the top scorer in, was it in the Lusaka Provincial Division 1? But he's back. Uh, where do you think he's going, he's going to go? Is he going to uh, return to Atletico Lusaka, or uh, are there any other Zambian clubs which are interested in him, given how he was such a good striker in the Provincial League this season? I think uh, for now, the... the... The good, uh, the the best thing would be for him to just go back to a third Lusaka. I think the jump because in Lusaka he didn't stay long. He came from I think uh, I think Division Two or Division Three in Central Province where he was scoring goals for fun. Then he made that jump um, 
he made that jump to to I, I think he means me. He means me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Then he made that jump to Lusaka, and then from Lusaka he went to he went to Israel. So I think Lusaka stayed only for three months and was scoring goals at Athletic Lusaka. I think in the early stages of the provincial league he was I think among the top scorers, if not the top scorer. So um, I think uh, he needed time. Uh, the jumps were I think a bit too high. He needed time to just because. Um, it's it's football is is different at times uh, a new environment what you're not used to sometimes you see players fail and 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 I see this a lot in Europe where they consider every possible scenario if a player fails you find that maybe there's something which is missing maybe the reason why you're scoring so many goals in Central Province it was because it was nearer to the grandmother who maybe cooking his favorite meal maybe he just <laughs> enjoyed living with his family things like that those little little things and he goes there. It's cold. He doesn't. Uh, maybe he's just used to Nishima like me, and he doesn't have Nishima there. Things like that. Those oh, small, small things. Oh, 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 those those issues. I remember I watched an interview of um, uh, the King uh, Kalusha Wale. He was talking about his first move to Europe, and now in the first half of his uh, debut, he was just kicking himself. It was so cold, and he couldn't actually play the way he's supposed to play. And it took time for him to acclimatize. Even Patson was talking about how it became lonely in Salzburg until Enoch arrived, and then there were like the two of them. So there are those small, small issues that complicate matters. But at the end of the day, I think he just needs to get back. And he shouldn't look at this as a failure. He just needs to get back and start doing what he was doing at Athletic Kurosaka. He's still very young. There's a lot of um, time for him to go back to Europe. If he, 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 his, uh, his main aim is to go back to Europe, let him just um, reestablish himself, maybe even get some Super League experience and go later on. Okay, Bwazani, where are you? Can, can we come in now? So this morning, transfers, transfers. There were a lot of uh, teams which were looking for, for, particularly they were looking for, for players to get, you know, in Ghana where it, and both Zesco United, they were in the hunt for, for, um, for, for, for Collins Kombe. Kombe, yeah. Yeah, there, there were all these, like, all across the board. So, what were the this morning? What what were the big transfer news that we woke up to? Um, well, I, th- I think. I, okay, go ahead, Bazan. Well, I, I think the biggest one was uh, who was going to be the next coach for uh, for Kansanshi Dynamos after um, letting go of Tenant Chilumba. For me, I think there was, was something holding of that. Of course, we saw a number of of coaches having had applied, but I think ultimately they they buoyed Mulanda. Quite a surprising move because I think he was doing pretty well at, at Buttecon. Um amidst all those challenges that were there. Um this one was quite a surprise. Is it is, is this a money move or is there something else uh, at this? Because it's surprising that um, Boyd Mulwanda has gone from a team which were challenging in the top four to going to a team which are struggling uh, currently, even they may look like they can, could get relegated. What, what, what do you think is the motive for, for this move, which has surprised everyone? Well, first of all, uh, I, I think it's no longer a secret. Um, we may have challenges, I think, with player finances at Buttecon. And now, if it is player finances at Buttecon, then it definitely involves the coach as well. Um, with all those challenges uh, and looking at what he was achieving, because, look, Buttecon has not actually been very bad this season. You understand what I mean? Just rightly putting it, um, they are using a very lean squad. It's a very small squad, actually, because they released a lot of a lot of players. Now, for Boyd Mulanda to just appear at the Kansanshi Dynamos, I think it's the project that is attractive. Um, I, I don't think it's about money because 
Butecon can afford to pay Boyd Mulanda. I think it's a project that is very attractive for uh, for Boyd to actually pitch up there. And uh, ever for me, <laughs> surprising, you know, we expected a big name of a coach to actually uh, pop up at Kazanchi Dynamos, especially looking at what they've done this season. But to get Boyd, it's quite a surprise. And uh, it's not about money. I think it's, it's more about a project. Yeah, I think I agree with Bozan. And I was okay, so I'm thinking in the same direction of a project with all these players that have gotten in, in, into the team. With, with the project, with, with the likes of the uh, Jesse Wares, the Marvin Jerez. Um, yeah, yeah I, I, I think that this, this is a team which should be pushing, at least even for the top four, but they are struggling. Uh, I, 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 I don't have um, a lot of, I don't know. It's the Boyd Mwanda move is very interesting because despite him being at uh, Butcon, in terms of really achieving, he, he doesn't have a track record. So he, he's a good and talented coach, but no track record. So it will be interesting to see how he will fare. Now with, 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 with Boyd at, um, at who's moved from Butcon. Aaron, have you heard any speculation about if Buildcon may be looking for another coach who's going to step in, and if Buildcon, who did they, who have they signed, and were they looking to make any last-minute signings? I know they did sign. Um, uh, he's, I think he's a Ugandan striker. He actually scored in their one-all draw against. Um, this is against yes. Kafia Yeah, Kafia yes, on his debut. Yes. On his debut. Um, so who? Mm, yeah, um, I think for the coach for now, I think they're going to stick with the assistant coaches. There are a lot of coaches out of the jobs, but we are anticipating that Tenant Chilumba will be going to Forest Rangers. That's the anticipation. It's not yet confirmed. Again, so but... no strong rumors, but that's how it feels. Mm. Yeah, like he's going back to Forest. But then there are all these uh, free coaches, the likes of Ian Bakala, um, um, the likes of um, uh, Chabi Chabala. There are a lot of all these uh, tenant chembo. There are a lot of these flea coaches. But uh, if, if, I, if I were um, Moses Muwanga, I would actually get um, Ian Bakala. I think he's a coach that would relish a project like Butecon and, 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 and see how he takes it. He did very well. At the time was at Osaka Dynamos. He did very well at Cabo Warriors for me. I think he he would do great at at, at Butecon. But we we'll, we'll have to wait and see uh, where they 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 land. But for now, I think the assistant coaches will take it up for maybe two or three weeks before a new coach comes in. They've also gotten the services of um, uh, former Zambia under twenty defender Bonface Mchindu. Um, Mchindu Mchindu as is known. He was part of that Zambia under-20 team that went to Korea at the World Cup in 2017 with the likes of Patson Enoch and uh, Fashon Sakala. So uh, just to reinforce their defense, because um, maybe as we're discussing right now, um, uh, Rodri Kembo might have even signed that Tinkana because there was all that issue. Nkana really want uh, Rodri Kembo at Tinkana, but Zesco are also interested. So there are all these possibilities, maybe just to try and see uh, prepare for a future maybe without him because he's been very sorry for them even in end himself a call up to the national team so it is it, it's, it's been a very strong figure at the back for Bitcoin and uh, if they lose him they would want to prepare for those instances so I think um, Chindu quite young and a lot of potential but he has a lot of work to do uh, to fill in the shoes of the likes of Lodri Kemba and uh, all these big defenders that Bitcoin have had in the past. So, and uh, I think it's, comp it's 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 just proving the Zambianizing point that Bitcoin have trying to uh, tried to prove in the last um, 18 months or so, where they have just completely changed their squad to a more locally centered squad. Okay, so that's um, that's Bitcoin. What about the the big news? Obviously, the, the big question is obviously Zesco United. They'll always be 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 the talk. And was uh, Evans was supposed to be on, on the show? That's Evans or Tiano because Zesco United 
Um, however, he, he isn't here. We'll try and contact him before that. Because Zesco United have signed uh, a Kenyan striker. That's Oburu. Now, I've watched Oburu before, and I'm very skeptical. In fact, I even wonder how Zesco... Because he hasn't had a club, and I don't mean to... He hasn't had a club since, since last year. So I'm trying to think how Zesco signed him. I don't know. Maybe he's good... But um, you, 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 at least when you look at Pedro Miguel, there was very, there was a very good reason to sign uh, Pedro Pedro Miguel. But I, I don't see for Buru, and yeah, I'm just trying to. So who else aside from Oburu? One, we'll talk about him maybe when when Evans is on. Who else has Zesco United trying to sign? We know that. Um, they're trying to sign Collins to come. In fact, there was speculation that um, some Lusaka Dynamo's people may have traveled to Ndola. This is just pure speculation, nothing factual. May have traveled to Ndola to maybe try and negotiate a deal uh, for him to, or travel to the Copper Belt, try and negotiate a deal for, at either Ankana or Zesco United. But nothing seems to be coming from this. Colin Sikombe's story. What's going on? You know, uh, Lusaka Dynamos uh, need the money, but, you know, why isn't he signing? Because they clearly need the money from, from all their good players so that they can, they can, they can at least have some money uh, to help them through the end of the season. Well, I think um, from the information that I got yesterday, he may have actually traveled with um, um, his manager, name with Todd, and um, Todd he already signed for Zesco. He's just unveiling that he's left. Maybe the complication might have gotten in. Maybe the, the uh, club-to-club um, negotiations may have stored. Um, they may have maybe disagreed on a few or something. That's why maybe he has not been unveiled today. But from what I got yesterday, he, he was in Indola with his manager, and uh, the deal had been signed. Uh, but And they also got Francis Banda. And this was the first time in a long time that I've seen Zesco sign a player and not announce and only see him make a debut. Because Francis Banda came on to play in their, in their one new win. And I think he replaced Chingando also. Came on to play from yeah. Lusaka Dynamos, from um, a city of Lusaka, the midfielder. Yeah. But he, it's nowhere near their socials. And I, I just saw him because I already knew that he had signed uh, it's, it's, we, we... It's, it's, it's it's very strange, you know. Um, yeah. For 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 Zesco not to say anything and yeah. just keep quiet and then just play, it's very strange. Um, sort of like were they trying to hide that they signed the player or trying to not make the fans know because maybe the fans would have had a problem to say who's this guy we're signing. Uh, because aside, I'm not saying he's a bad player, but. Um, if you ask the average Zambian food club football supporter watches the league and ask them, Francis Banda, like out of 10 people, maybe yeah, maybe even one, you know, maybe not even, maybe less than one, would know him, would know who he is. Yeah, I think that was a strange part from Zesco because Zesco have done very well, like... Um, just drifting a bit, like uh, the, the post you made in the morning, I think it's this morning, about what Red Arrows are doing with the pre-match press conferences. As Zesco have done very well when it comes to transfers, they make sure they, they promote and, uh, of course, um, announce their deals and they make it clear, they sign two years, what, what, and they do all those official unveiling and, of course, all, and uh, post all those beautiful pictures that they take for the ceremony, the signing ceremony. But it's strange for this one. Nothing happened. We wait to see what what will happen with the other two deals that we know of uh, for Vincent and of course for for Skombe. If it doesn't broken down, but um, from what we hear, it's it's a done deal. But for me, the big news actually for me it's from Zanako. Mm. Zanako have got have three players that they have signed that were supposed to announce today, maybe they'll announce tomorrow or in the days to come. Uh, which are striker Shite Mweshi, a winger Felix Rouse joined on a one year loan deal from Red Arrows, and that's the, the big deal for me. Uh, I'll explain that, a bit. That, that's that. a, that's a, sho a shocker. Um, and uh, Wezani, who's an Arrows fan, should also weigh in. Why <laughs> Wezani have 
Red Arrows, Let's Go, or Felix Bulaya, who played so well in CAF competition this year, they've let him go to Zanako on a one-year loan in a deal which doesn't make sense from my, from a lot of people's points of view. This is uh, one of your best strikers, aside from Ricky Banda, uh, Fred Shimenga, okay, James Shamanga, he's on the other side of, uh, he's, he's old, he's on the other side of 40. But this is one of your best strikers. Why, why let him go? Well, uh, if there's a surprise, the transfer is this one for Felix Fulaya. Um, <laughs> this is a this is a team, Punch and Aaron, uh, that is on top of the league. And uh, at the level that they were, they're supposed to actually be defending um, all these players, you understand, to, to make sure that they keep them because the momentum is with them at the moment. Uh, it's a very big chance for, for, for Red Arrows to get their second title. And if anything, we were supposed to be seeing uh, good local players going to Red Arrows, not leaving Red Arrows at this point of time. So, honestly, that is a very surprise one. I just weigh in on some of the doubts that people have on Collins' this combe. Look, let's not even run away from it. Collins' this combe is going to be a Zesco United player. He is actually a Zesco United player as we speak yes. now. Yeah, as we speak now, yes, we are waiting for all the official art. But rarely does Pancherero Chama, Aaron, Aaron Mwanga, speak about things that uh, are not close to happening. So um, for, for Collins, it's been done. It's been done. I think j just like Aaron has said, it's just club to club that um, are waiting. But I think they, they, they've beaten the deadline by first of all agreeing terms with the player and uh, making sure that the the club to club agreements are done when uh, the deadline it may have passed but what what is cardinal is that the player has agreed to move and of course what is remaining maybe by this time and if Adams or the, the the rest would have already agreed some transfer fees of some sort but he will definitely be a Zesco United player and we have actually big information that uh, he's actually signed the player already. So I, I think that closes the debate. But sorry, side for Red Arrows. They were not supposed to release uh, Felix. But I think on the Bulaya part, I think it's the player. Because um, I followed this deal from the, from the moment it started. Um, he wanted out of Red Arrows himself. I don't know what the deal was, but he wanted out. And initially he went to Power Dynamos. He was supposed to sign for Power Dynamos, but somehow I don't know where the confusion was. I think it's Red Arrows and Power Dynamos, the club to club, they took long and they couldn't agree, so he didn't sign for Red Arrows. Then, uh, sorry for Power Dynamos, then Zesco scores, uh, stepped in and he was almost going to Zesco, but I'm told somehow um, I think I was I was given information that the coach didn't actually know who Felix Blair was and wanted him to do trials. Um, that's just um, information that I got from an outside source, so I'm not too sure of how uh, serious that was. Which, which but coach? Zesco, which coach? Uh, the head coach for Zesco United. Didn't know who Felix Blair was. That's the news that I got. That he no, wanted him to go for trials because. Who... Wow. Wow. Yeah, so uh, I, it, 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 that, that, that's I, it, not I was shocked. So so that's why I'm 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 debating on the the legality of the, the whole information mm. because I was thinking how does Numba not know who Felix Bly is? If he doesn't know so Felix, how is he going to know all these young young players who are just coming up? But I hope it's you're not to be watching your, your po opposing teams. Yeah, either and it's 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 surprising exactly. if it's true. It's quite positive. Yeah. yeah, so and then that but, deal fell through. Then Zanako yes, 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 in. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I, I think Aaron is right because there, there's there's no way a team like Red Arrows would actually let a player go of 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 Ulaya's caliber. So it's basically a player who is pushing for a move out. At least that makes a bit of some sense. But then uh, Power Dynamos getting slow to decide on what they have to do with the player. We've seen this happening with Inkana, 
Okay, I know I posted about Collins Collins Skombe early in the morning, and uh, Aaron was the first one to comment to say this one is a loss, yes, but not Miguel. Okay, you you understand uh, understand where he's coming from, but the, the the point is, I think, look, there are too many rumors that goes on. Okay, and people yeah. get information. So if if a club wants a player, you can't wait. You understand? Yeah. You can't wait. You make sure you close the deal very fast and and get him. Okay, look at what happened to 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 Miguel as um, Pedro. Okay, immediately. There were rumors that Kasanche Dynamos were going for Pedro. Yeah. They they did it. Did it. Zesco United did not waste time. There was Power Dynamos, there was Inkana. You understand? They did not waste a lot of time. They just went there, sat the boy down, enticed the boy, and the deal was closed. That's what teams well, should well, be I mean, doing. Well, 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 I mean, okay, uh, I don't want to sidetrack you. Is There's this allegation, and, um, and I was speaking to a much older player, one of those who... Is he's in his thirties now, and um, yeah. he's been playing in the Zambian league since the late to, to since two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine. And he feels that players now are more respected. The young players now who are coming up are more respected than them because he gave an example that there's a young player at his club who was flown from one town in Lusaka to the other to come and sign a contract. Wow, him, when he was given a contract, uh, when he was pushing for a contract renewal just recently, uh, they could not even help him pay his bus fare to come back from where he was, to, back to he, the town where the club is. So he, he feels that the, um, the younger players are more respected. Do, do you think this is true? Do you think that... And and I have have you heard these stories that some of these younger players can be lodged at Radisson Blue, uh, while the older players uh, they're not even given lodging with their families. Well, even before Aaron comes, I think first of all, as a player, you need to to to, to value yourself. You understand? So there are players that have made themselves look very desperate. Okay, so yeah. if you, if you look desperate, punch. Uh, even the, the 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 teams that want you want to respect you that much, you understand. So let me, let me give you practical examples of what I've seen. Um, I know players that have been flown in, Marvin Jerry, for instance. Um, look, Kasashi Dynamos. Marvin Jerry first of all was almost signing for Red Arrows. Okay, was almost signing, mm. and they agreed terms with Red Arrows. Kasashi Dynamos saw a loophole. And you 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 can't offer the same things that Redaros are offering to a player. You understand what I mean? If you really mm -hmm. want him, okay. We saw we, we saw Marvin Jerry fly into into Solwezi. Now, but it's not easy in this country to fly from one town to another. You understand? Mm -hmm. Just 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 that process of flying already puts something into the mind of a player and say, "Wow, where I'm going, it's a very good team." You understand what I mean? So, I think. First of all, it's the way one players value themselves. It is seriously a key, you understand? And second, the the way clubs treat these players, okay, it it, it makes them make decisions that are going to go for them or not. In the past, I'll tell you, even in, even in a simple discussion, okay, the, we've seen coaches, or we've seen coaches. Team managers that have come back and say, "Got so far now, it's okay. This is what we are offering." You understand what I mean? I've heard these things. You, you understand? This is the reason as why Spencer did not go to Napsa Stars. You understand? This is the reason as why Spencer found himself at Power Dynamos and not some of the teams in Lusaka. You know, the attitude, the attitude of some administrators towards these players, they would make the players seem as though. They are doing them a favor. I think that is what has failed a lot of these clubs from getting the most valuable players. Yeah. Yeah, I think for me, that the question you've raised, I think it's worldwide. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo cannot be treated the same as uh, Phil Jones at Manchester United. Aaron, Aaron let, let, me, let, me not, let me not cut you. There's, there's, some, um, um, there's a link that I've shared. So those who also want to join the discussion... Just follow the link. I've shared it in the in the post. So there's Kayo. Kayo, can you hear us? You you can you 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 can give um, your thoughts if you are in the link. 
Caio. Hello? Okay, I think uh, he failed to log on. Aaron, continue with your thoughts. Yeah, I think it's worldwide. Like you've, like Bozan said, value yourself first. If your player values themselves, the club will value uh, the, the player. But don't overvalue yourself. I remember there's a time that a deal um, broke because the player wanted a private jet and a private island. Uh, it was at one of Bozan's clubs called Arsenal. Um, the, the guy from Senegal, what's his name? Jevinho, when he was being signed, in, <laughs> well, they wanted him, I think, in Dubai. He wanted a private jet, a private island. They were like, dude, if you want this, what happens when Messi wants to come here or Ronaldo? So those are the issues. What, um, what, what, we've heard what, stories what, what, of... What, Aaron, what's the craziest demand you've heard from a player in the, in the Zambian league? I think... Um, not really end of really crazy demands, but it's usually um, I oh I remember a story I was told of a player who wanted who was only training with a club. Uh, he since left the club. He was training with the club for almost a year. He didn't want to sign because the salary we were offering was lower than what he wanted because he. He, he went to play outside and got a lot of money there and wanted to get almost the same here. So he trained for an entire year without signing for the same club. He wanted to join the club. He loved the club, but trained for an almost a year, but never signed because the amount of money he wanted was almost like maybe five times than what the club was able to offer him. So I think that was like the craziest, but the Jevinho thing tops it all. I think that's the craziest <laughs> I've ever had a player demand. You can ask for a private island and a private jet. Justice. Yes. Did uh, did Evans come one Clings? Uh, you were in Russia. You you stayed there. So did Evans and Clings? Did they ask for a private jet when they joined Arsenal? <laughs> 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 they joined nah, no, nah, no, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. Actually, Clings and Arame had to. <laughs> To do some trials, you know, for them to be signed. Oh, they did trials. Yeah. Oh, oh did I, trials. I did that. That's what I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, they they actually did trials. Yeah, they they actually did trials. So, Lame, um, uh, Justice, Lame, what what are your thoughts justice. about um, what are your the transfer so far, which have taken place? Um, have they been impressive? Have clubs done the business, or do you think that there's a lot that a lot of clubs need to do? Well, uh, the, the, they've been impressive. Um, there have been some questions on some. Some have been surprising. Uh, the case being, yeah, Wolaya and um, Boyd moving to Kansanshi, you know, Dynamos as a coach. Because for me, I was thinking Kansanshi would be looking for yeah, a seasoned manager. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think uh, London has, has since retired, but I think they could have talked to him and, you know, gotten a coach of that caliber, like when it comes to experience in the Zambian League, someone who's won, someone who's, yeah, who's got this track record. Um, then when it comes to, yeah, Wulai, of course, I think you've touched on that one. But I feel uh, there's also one I wanted to talk about, like uh, my mm. name, Lave Nkana. Mm. Uh, I feel Nkana should, you know, like I saw, I don't know how, 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 how authentic the news is for Will, Will Stephanus. I think those are players Nkana needs. That guy is a good player. You know, as Nkana, I think those are the type of players we need to go for. That's a free transfer. Get the lad. Bring him in the team. He brings quality to the team and of course we are aiming to to win the league we are aiming for CAF Champions League with such players that aim becomes a possibility mm. Mm. Uh, but don't you think the, the quarter uh, confuses everything now because now Nkana will probably be thinking that um, because I think Nkana have got five foreign players they've got um, uh, they've got uh, the, the Congolese in front. Um, uh, I've forgotten his name. Uh, yes, uh, yeah. 
Tadi, yes. Tadi, then they've yeah. got um, Giro Chimwemwe, then they've got um, uh, Chipunza, who's also uh, Zimbabwean, then I think I've forgotten two others. I, 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 I thought that they had uh, reached the, the limit, but it would be interesting to see if Inkana can, can make changes, because um, Inkana... The only player that they find who seems to be, you know, the, like on another level is Richard Ngoma, who just joined today. So there's another deal which has been done. Done, done, done. Right now, we, we told you, so Atletico Lusaka have completed a deal of Joseph Salvovo to Red Arrow. We got that right here. Right here, live. <laughs> And I got that, that information via text. That it's that one of the deals we are waiting for. It's one of the there are a couple yeah. of others, but we don't know if it's going to be completed. So the deal is done. What do you think about this 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 what deal, uh, Aaron? This, this deal, uh, it's, it's it's a very good deal. Uh, I think the uh, the lad needs Super League experience. I was one of those since just when he broke on the scene, when he came out, I I, I, I always thought he needed Super League experience and he, he had that grown the provincial league because maybe we think he's very good because he plays against. Uh, for lack of a better term, useless opposition. He needs to <laughs> test himself against against better defenders, against the experience of players like Ludwig Campbell, all these big, big defenders, uh, the likes of um, um, the Cabo Warriors defender players for the national team. I've actually forgotten his name. Uh, yes, the likes of Clement uh, uh, Mwape. So those, those big, big players and um, those that go to the national team those are seasoned in the Super League, that's what he needs to test himself against. If it's as, as good as he's been at Atletico Lusaka for the Super League, then we might just say, no, this kid is special and maybe uh, let him move to Europe or so. But maybe we're overvaluing him because he was playing against the position that's uh, maybe inferior to him in that sense. For me, it's a bit disappointing. Uh, okay, it's both ways. I'll be happy to watch. Okay, okay, okay. justice. Before I, before I, justice, let, let me not cut you. But uh, please, guys, for everyone else, please can you switch on um, your cameras as well? For those who can, for me, the problem why I can't switch on my camera is that uh, there's no electricity at home. Uh, we, we have an electric port in our area, so yeah. So any, anyone else who can switch on their camera, please do. Continue, justice. Yeah. So for me, it's it's both ways. Uh, I'll be happy to watch him, of course, in the Super League. Yeah. But why I'm sad is, uh, you know, um, there was so much hype about the lad going to Europe. Uh, there was a time I was uh, I was at uh, Barcelona Academy, was it Atletico Lusaka Academy, uh, with uh, with Kings the other time, and I had the, ch the opportunity to talk to uh, the proprietor of uh, Lusaka Atletico. So he said, "Oh, there are a lot of you know offers on the table, blah blah blah." Uh, but my main priority for now is is uh, Barcelona. Then uh, if that maybe doesn't work out, then maybe we'll take him to these other clubs. In short, there are a lot of clubs that wanted the boy to go there. Salzburg being one of them and some clubs in uh, in France and Italy. So I don't know. I don't. Maybe maybe they want to take him at the end of the season. But I'm not, yeah, like, if that's the case, maybe, yeah. But really, if all these deals are falling through and nothing will work out, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's disappointing on my part. Because okay. that quality needs to be in Europe. Okay, okay Henry, what do, you, what, what do you think about the breaking news of um, Sabobo Banda, Joining Red Arrow, it's it's not a permanent deal. It's a loan deal. It's loan. Let let's let's make it clear. But the 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 the, the negotiations have just been completed right now. I just received the 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 the, the, the information that they finished the negotiations. Everything's been done. Uh, Henry, this is a lad who said he he will never play in the Zambia Super League. What what, do you think what, what are your thoughts? Um, Sabobo Banda. Joining 
the Ministry of Communications, everything has been done. Uh, Henry, this is a lad who said he will never pay in the Zambia Super League. What, what are your thoughts? Uh, actually, it's actually a good move. Despite it being uh, just a loan move, actually, it's a good move because he needs experience. For him to go to Europe, he actually needs experience. Actually, Joseph Sabobo is my my former teammate. I used to play with him at Barca Academy. So I would say he's a good lad, and uh, actually, he's going to he's going to do well at Red Arrows. And for him to go to Europe, he needs that exposure. And just as my my other colleague there earlier alluded to say. Sabobo needs to face tougher opponents and tougher defenders. For him to, to go to Europe and face tougher people there, he needs that experience. And if the Super League will grant him that experience, then he shall succeed in Europe. Because European clubs usually, they like someone who's played, uh, I can say, who's got experience of the Super League, uh, Super League experience. So I think that's why Sabobo has come to the Super League and like going directly to Europe. Because when he goes to Europe not right now, maybe you might find that in the next two months he'll be back soon. But then when he has that experience and then goes to I don't know if if we lost if we lost um, Henry right there. I, I can't hear him in, in, anymore. Um, so we just have four minutes to go before we before we finish. Uh, we just have four minutes to go before before we we we, we complete. Um, I don't know who, who wants to come in. Zumiranji, yeah. What, what are your views um, on on this development? What are your views on on, on the development, I also know that Lamek wants to wants to give his views. So, Zoom in but, but, you. But, before, before. Yeah, Lamek. Uh, yeah. So, so let us. Do. Oh, I can hear you. I'm here. So, okay, Lamek. Be, be quick. We yeah. just have four more minutes. So, be quick. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So we have a breakthrough. Uh, Green Buffaloes has completed the signing of Roy Alfonso from Kansashi Dynamo. This is a late deal that uh, took 2259. Uh, final negotiations were being done between both clubs, and uh, final agreement was reached between the two clubs. And I can safely confirm Roy Alfonso will be a Green Buffaloes player tomorrow. It is. Is this a is this a good deal for Roy Alfonso? This late deal. Uh, he came to Lusaka. He had he had he had failed. You know, some people say he had failed at Lukwazi. Is this a good late deal? It's, it's a very good. It's a it's a very good deal for Green Buffaloes because uh, Green Buffaloes have been lacking in their midfield, and uh, him coming in plus the coming in of Gozon. Uh, it's been a very, for me. It's a very good deal. But uh, latest news later in the evening, twenty one thirty, was that uh, Green Buffaloes had sacked their manager again. Still more confirmation coming. We we were told uh, a new technical bench is being assembled at Green Buffaloes, and uh, the assistant coaches fired, uh, goalkeeper coach let go. Yeah. So, uh, in fact, the coaches at Green Buffaloes did not attend today's training session. As they play, as are, are you serious? That's um, that is that, that's Justin Chinama. Uh, yes. He so uh, he had, they, he had, he had uh, not. He hasn't he had held the training today. He was in a meeting with the EXCO. So later in the evening, uh, news came through that uh, uh, the club had cut ties with him together with. Uh, his assistant and the goalkeeper coach and uh, David Kaumba was being roped in as a new goalkeeper coach at Buffalo's head coach yet to be confirmed, assistant coaches yet to be confirmed. Uh, panic moves from Green Buffaloes. This was always no, no, no. <laughs> head head coach is not being confirmed. Uh, Justin Chinama continues as head coach. Okay. Of course, the changes that uh, Lamek uh, is bringing are true, but. Uh, 
Justin Chinama has not been touched. He will still continue as head coach. And maybe just to also rop in on what Lamika said about uh, Lloyd Alfonso, he's a player who knows one club, okay? Um, and the club that he knows is Kansanshi Dynamos. That, um, that is... That, that Justin Chinama... I'm not clearly getting you, um, Punch, but then the confirmation is that Justin Chinama still continues as head coach. The rest of the changes, the rest of the changes uh, are exactly what Lamek said. Now, Red Dagufonso to Green Buffaloes. That's a panic buy. <laughs> Yeah, you may call it a panic buy, but look, this is a Green Buffalo side that has lost um, Friday Samu, their talisman. So um, they will seriously be looking for, for, for replacement. We saw them get Gozon Mutale, and uh, the only thing that we know they are not doing is the uh, scoring. At least they scored two goals against the Red Arrows, even in that defeat. So for now, they are just looking for someone who can actually stick up up there and uh, get them goals. And if Roy Alfonso, honestly speaking, is to tick, he's a player that they need. I heard Pancherello Chama talking about his failure at Inquazi. Look, there's always a problem when it's the ex coach that wants a player and not the coach. We all know what happened at Inquazi and why Inquazi brought in Lloyd Alfonso. It was not Makinka, it was the executive that needed him. So Look, he's not in the plan of the coach. He, I, I don't think he even played. Yes, he was named on the bench several times, but he was, he had, uh, I mean, his loan deal to Nkwazi just ended like that without even kicking the ball. Okay, so he had no time to prove himself. So I think it is time that we give him a chance at Green Buffaloes and see what the boy can do. We saw him score goals, yes, in the first season of the Super League with Kazanshi Dynamos. And uh, immediately, Kazanshi Dynamos signed players like Jackson Jessiwere. We knew to say, Baba Basile, we knew to say he was going to be third or fourth Fido um, in that pecking order. So it's just right that he actually uh, has managed to get this move to Green Buffaloes. And I think it is time for him to prove himself now. Because if he doesn't, then it is coming to the end of the career and people will remember him only for one club. You understand what I mean? So, yes, for wait, me, wait it's club. a good move for... It is a good move for Lloyd. For a club that's yeah. pushing to win the league, they should have planned properly when losing Samu. You know, if they, if they, really, want to, if they really want us to take them seriously, you know, they should have planned properly before they sell their, their talisman. But it's like they didn't do that. Hence, for me, this is a panic buy. And if it works out, well and good. But I doubt, I don't see it working out. Okay. 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 Um, we, 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 are, we are reaching the end of, of the show. We, we'll just allow, since so many people want to talk, we'll just allow, um, just, just give me a second. We'll just allow an extra five to seven minutes and that's it i will have to remove some people off the feed because there are a lot of people who want to join in so um so justice uh i think because you are one of the earliest who came on um you can share your last thought so that um we add other people just please within just 30 seconds of share your last thoughts about about the transfers Oh, no, no, it's it's fine. I think I've, I've shared enough. I, I can gladly leave at this point. <laughs> okay, so justice now. Mira, <laughs> 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 that I can gladly leave. <laughs> yeah, just thanks, thanks for being a sport. Um, we need we need we need to add um, a couple of of of, of other people. Um, yeah, so so just let me. This technology is is there. There's Leo, uh, Zumilandi, Wankarazi. Give your thoughts. And I'm back. 
Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. No, we'll start with we'll start with Leo. Leo, uh, some very late transfer uh, business has just been completed just before the the window closed. Joseph Sabobo Banda to Red Arrows from um, this is from uh, from from, from um, Lusa Atletico Lusaka. Um, then um, which is the other one? The other one is. Uh, um, uh, Roy Alfonso, who has joined Green Buffaloes, is this the right move for for Saboba to join Red Arrows? Leo, well, at, uh, so, uh, yes, we can hear you. We have uh, 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 latest transfer. We had uh, Saidi Clifford joining Butecoin on a six month deal. The deal was concluded. Wow. Today. Oh, it, it was concluded late on. Yes. So, so Milias, I think I think we've lost we've lost uh, Leo there. Milias, you, your thoughts, Joseph Sabobo Banda um, moving to to Red Arrows. Uh, hi, Punch. Hi, everyone. Uh, for me, uh, I think uh, it's a good move because he needs experience. Uh, I'll give you an example of Patton, Papa. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right from Kafue. I think went to Nchanga Rangers and then Europe. So I think I think it's 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 good for his experience. And mm -hmm. um, yeah. Sorry to take you back about you guys have spoken so much about Felix. Mm. I think I think Craig Darius has brought in new players. For example, Twiza Chaivela, who's who's a very good player. We've seen him at Cow Warriors, we've seen him at Napsa. So I think they'll be they'll be okay. They're, yeah, they should they, they should be okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, Aaron. Um, Aaron, yes, Bozani. Any late transfers? Let's wrap up. We've we've just got about uh, so, three minutes to go. Let's uh, wrap up. I, I just need to clarify on Felix to Zanaco. Mm. Yeah. So initially, Felix was added to Power Dynamos. Personal terms agreed. Uh, uh, D day signing day. Uh, they do fell through. As a... No, we we weren't just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 do you never he wanted. I don't believe this story. I don't believe this story. That <laughs> <laughs> number mama doesn't know who Felix Bulaya is. Punch, we need to be winding up. That's why. I, that, <laughs> that's the reason I'm saying most of these things that Lamek is saying. We talked about them when he was uh, hanged okay. up with network somewhere. Okay, let's let, let, let let's wind up. Um, everyone who, who who's on. Give your final thoughts, uh, uh, and that's it. Zumilanji, within 30 seconds, give your final thoughts. Okay, I can't hear him. Bwezani, within 30 seconds, any additional information you have, you, you may have received before the window closed, and give your final thoughts. Well, um, my last transfer window, transfer news was actually the one that has been broken by Lamek. Clifford Saidi, former Power Dynamos, uh, he did not feature very well. Remember, he was at Kaisa, then went to Power Dynamos. Um, the injury actually took him out of that team for a long time. He was training with Kansashi Dynamos, close to signing with Kansashi, but again, uh, immediately Marvin Jere came. The direction was difficult because they are, they, they are players in the same position. And now uh, Butecon has gotten him. Very young player. 
And I think he features very well. So in summary, I think this has been one of the most interesting January transfer windows. Too many activities in this January has actually happened. And you know, the, the, the issue is because of the quota system. Zambian players are now on the market and you can actually see the way they are trading. Okay. But generally, I think I've just been very, very impressed with the way this transfer window has been. We we'll only have to see now what are the results of these buys. All eyes on Kansanshi, Jackson, Jesuere, Marvin Jere, Bruce Sakanya. If you just hear the names and the, they start struggling against Chambeshi, then people start questioning exactly what went on. Otherwise, thank you so much for all those that have uh, listened to this show on my part. The feedback that we are getting on, on, on Facebook is actually massive. Punch, we need to do this more. I'm out. Okay. Milias, last words, 30 seconds. Uh, nothing much to say. Uh, just just disappointed that the quota system was implemented. And um, I'm worried. Same here. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Same here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm worried because uh, I remember the this, this school we had, was it 2016? Mm, very the strong team. The, yeah, and the beautiful football they played. Um, <laughs> I'm yet to see what we have this year, but ish, I'm, I'm worried, Punch. <laughs> and, and thanks. Yeah. I appreciate the opportunity. Thanks. Thanks, Milios. Uh, with that, only two foreign players in, into the league by count. One from BuiltCon, uh, the other one being signed by... In fact, I think it's one. The one from BuiltCon. Uh, as a... Do I, yes, I stand to be corrected. Is there another? Huh? Yes, oh, oh yes, Oburu. And 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 okay, we'll talk about this another day. But looking at both players, this is not the quality that that, that the the this quarter should should be bringing. Oburu, who last played in uh, a long time ago last year, is is the best signing of the foreign players. Anyway, Aaron, last words, thirty seconds. Well, uh, it's been an impressive. Um, Transfer market, a lot of uh, transfer window, a lot of peace and tens. Um, we hope to see what the impact these players bring to the new clubs. Excited to see what the young talent of Richard Dingoma and Sabob are going to do in the Super League. And um, uh, great show over. I think, um, like Bozan said, we need to do more of this. This is very good. Uh, like uh, we spoke earlier, you and me. Uh, this is something that could grow to something big, and um, it's 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 it's, it's exciting to have uh, such kind of platforms. Uh, for the, as for the quarter system, just move on. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> last week, last last week, six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you are wise. Uh, <laughs> Uh, firstly, I would like to thank for the opportunity of coming to talk football with you guys. Uh, though I came in late, network challenges here and there, but uh, just one, uh, two last transfers, uh, Congolese internationals, Andy Boyele to Chambishi, and then mm. uh, Leonard, uh, Leonard Mukonga to Forest Rangers, Joe Wallace to Forest Rangers, holding midfield and right back. Both Congolese. No, Joe Wallace is a local Zambian. Then uh, Leonard uh, Konga from Chambishi is a is a right back. Okay, it will be interesting to see how they will fare. Okay, thanks, Lamek Zumilanji. Last words, thirty seconds. Is disappeared. Stadium. But okay, guys, I think. It's a wrap. Thanks to everyone who was. This was a very exciting show. Uh, we overran by um, 14 minutes, but I think that's okay. And as we said, we proved it. We said that there are going to be some big transfers which are going to take place late on. The reality is that people did not don't think that um, Zambian clubs do these transfers late on, where they are negotiating and doing paperwork. It happens even here, and um, it's just that maybe it's not publicized. Um, would also like to thank our sponsors. That's Billy Sports Equipment. They are found along Cairo Road at the Kenneth Kaunda. That's the Kenneth Kaunda building in shop number one. This is just next to the Bank of Zambia. So that's why they are found. So if you want to get sports equipment, boots, 
uh, football boots and any type of thing, especially associated with, um, because the owners there really love Zambian football. So you get a big opportunity when you go there to see a lot of um, great equipment and the sportswear. With that said, guys, thanks and um, enjoy your evening. Thanks to everyone who uh, stayed this late to, to follow um, this first and unique show. Good night. Thank you.